Hi again, welcome back to Sika Foods. So today we're going to make some shrimp or prawns is what we call back home. So let's get started. I have few spices and we are going to make it on an open fire or you may use a pan or you can grill it or you may bake it around 425 degrees for 15 minutes for a nice and uh, tender sh shrimp. So I have the list of ingredients on my description box. Uh, for more details, uh, you may look up the link. And if you haven't already subscribed, do subscribe to Sika Foods and share with your family and friends. We have some shrimp. We have some shrimp here. Uh, I have cleaned and deveined them. And we are going to pad dry with a paper towel so all the water or gets observed in the paper towel and thus uh, when we add our sh our spices to the shrimp uh, they get absorbed well into the meat so let's get started we are butterflying the shrimp so it's a technical term uh, we're going to cut it deeper from where we have deveined the shrimp and hence creating more surface for the shrimp to have uh, more spices in its uh, meat. So we have butterflied all our shrimps and uh, ready to cut our peppers. We're going to cut it, cut the peppers away from its cord. Uh, so we have a clean uh, pepper cheek to cut. <laughs> We're going to dice them into four pieces. We're going to, and we'll dice all of our peppers. I have uh, different colors. You may choose or uh, one color or multicolor. I've also diced some onions and separating each of the onions. We set aside all the peppers and the onions in a bowl. In another saucepan, we're going to uh, fry some shallots uh, until golden brown. We'll add a few cloves of garlic and uh, ginger along with all the spices. I have the list in the description box below uh, for more details you may follow we're going to blend them all along with some cashew nuts a handful and some nutmeg after grinding into a fine paste I added uh, half a cup of uh, sour cream and dry spices chili powder turmeric coriander and uh, chili flakes and i cut the lemon juice if you cut the lemon away from the cord diagonally uh, you may not find any seeds coming while squeezing the lemon juice and I have some ground nut nutmeg check for salt at this point we'll separate the paste some with some shrimp and the rest will add to our peppers if you are a vegan or you're vegetarian you may add the same spices to the paneer or tofu along with the grilled vegetables. The nutmeg adds a unique taste uh, to the shrimp. And of course we are grilling it on the fire. It has its own uh, aroma. So to build more flavor, 
I have some charcoal and I added few drops of uh, clarified butter or you may just add some butter I, I did the same with the veggies as well we're going to cover this and leave it in the refrigerator for an hour or so as we are grilling the shrimp we're going to make the dressing for the shrimp which we will add it on top while serving let's skewer all the all the shrimps and the wedges they're ready to go on the grill or on the open fire or you may just bake it or you may use one of these pans to grill for the grill marks on the stove it's totally optional it's what you uh, want to do with them so in the pan we added a tablespoon of butter with few green chilies and the mint and cilantro handful of them we're going to skip it aside here we have the grilled veggies that goes on the bottom of our serving platter the beautiful color of the peppers when it's smoked it has its own unique taste and the prawns i added the butter the flavored butter on top and it's ready to serve and of course not to forget to squeeze in some uh, fresh lime juice I hope you like my videos and if you haven't subscribed already do like and share Osika foods and subscribe to my channel and like always I have my favorite piece of music for today I hope you like it and of course my recipes share your comments and suggestions below and you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.